to the Temple Courts area, which was a big no-no. He's arrested, he's passed around to multiple different people, undergoing different trials, kind of similar to what Jesus did in his last night. And then he appeals to Caesar, he's ultimately shipped to Rome, where he's put under house arrest awaiting his trial by Caesar. And during this time, and of course after the time, he's, he will ultimately be executed. But before that, while he's under house arrest, he's writing letters. And in all likelihood, the very last letter he writes is 2 Timothy. And notice what he says here, which appropriately was our scripture reading for today. It says, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Because we all finished this race together. And Paul understood that running his race well meant helping everyone else run their race well. Paul understood this. Jesus understood this. Because in our passage it says, For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. Jesus endured his suffering because he had a telos set in front of him as well. It was this joy. You know what the joy set before him was? It was you. It says we are seated at the right hand of the Father, where Paul tells us that we are also seated with him. We are all together in this same race. Some of us may finish before others. But that just means we cheer on the people that are coming behind us. That means we cheer on the people that are running alongside of us. In good times and bad, because they're both going to come. But the finish line is worth it. So that just... So how is our race going? I don't know about you, but I've had a bit of a rough year. I haven't always been running my race very well. Sometimes I trip. Sometimes I get winded and have to stop. Oh, I can't do this anymore. We've got to fix our eyes on Jesus because once we look up there, what do we see? Every time. When we're running a good race, he's up there. Yeah! If we're not doing so well, He's still cheering us on. Amen. Because his joy is for us to finish. Finishing his race means us, helping us finish as well, just like Paul did, just like all of these witnesses in Hebrews have done. It's all about helping us all finish the race. And therefore, our task is simply to remember. To, to remember that hey, things always fall. Jesus is always faithful. God is always faithful to help us in our story, to help us in our race. You know, like, why, is the, why does the word remember get used like well over 150 times throughout the Bible? Because if, if we don't remember what God did, it's as if it never happened, that we can get these moments where the race gets hard and that's all we can think about. But we have to remember in those times to look up in the stands, to train ourselves to hear the cheering of the cloud that cloud of witnesses that's around us, cheering for us all the way. Because it wasn't that they did all the, the right things. It wasn't that, like, well, that's just Moses. He, the dude was a rock star. Now, how could I compete with that? Moses made mistakes, too. God was faithful, even when Moses was not. God was faithful, even when David was not. God was faithful, even when fill in the blank. God is faithful, even when you are not. He's still cheering. They're all still cheering. And for us, we just have to remember. Like, why did they, usually, they set up little altars of stones everywhere they went. So they remember, oh, God did that there. So may we be people that remember that. If we could bring our worship team back up. And I just kind of encourage you to sound like, train yourself to remember. Train yourself to always hear that cheering. So that even when the race gets hard, you know that that doesn't throw God. Jesus' race was hard too, but he made it. Because God was faithful, not just because he was Jesus and he was awesome. God was faithful in his story. God was faithful in Paul's story. God was faithful in all of the witnesses. And so we are called to be those witnesses sitting in the stand for other people. We are called to finish our race well. And that doesn't mean we're going to do all the right things, but it means that you know, being perfect means 
fulfilling our goal, continuing to run, and continuing to remember the cheering of the cloud to, and to fix our eyes on Jesus. So let's stand and we'll close in a quick benediction as we get ready to sing. And uh, just since we've been talking about Hebrews today, I think it's only fitting that we close with a benediction from Hebrews. So, may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he produce in us what's pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Grace be with you all. Let's sing together.